Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Okay, and now I should be ready to introduce the loop, I think. Um, I want to loop while get number of books of remaining books is greater than zero. So number of books greater zero. Which should actually be number of remaining books, right? Remaining books. Okay, this is bigger zero, which means I need to actually recompute the value afterwards. And I need to somehow remove books, right? So let me quickly think about that. In the first case, I have um, two distinct books and I want to remove them both. So I have to decrement the count for both of the books. In the other case, I have only one um, distinct book, so I want to decrement the counter of this by one, which essentially means in both cases, I want to decrement the counter of all present books by one. So let's implement that. Nah, auto formatting. Four, I want to loop over all the distinct books. So, Potter book, book in um, remaining books dot keyset, remaining books dot keyset for every book I have in there, I want to update the value. So I say remaining book, books get book. That is the, the amount, the number of times I have the book in here. Let's make this a decent integer. Um, okay, and I actually have to d distinguish the case when, no, I don't have to distinguish the case here. I can just remove them, right? Because I know, or I have a test case with two times the same book already, right? So I have a, a count of two here. Okay, so I need to distinguish the case. Say if amount equals to one, I want to remaining books remove book and else I want to do remaining books put book amount minus one. It's like the, the opposite logic of that down here. And now I probably get a concurrent modification problem here because I modify the map while I'm iterating over the key set. Let's see. Yeah, looks looks just like it. There's exceptions, concurrent modification. Exactly. So I'm going to factor this one out. Say distinct books. And now I can wrap this, like copy the hash map or the map. Um, no, the set actually, Java util hash set. Just copy this over into a new set. Now it should be working. Um, it is working, but the numbers are not right. Why are the numbers not right? Okay, because I'm using here uh, the whole number of remaining books. And actually, this should be only two, because it's two books I'm going to remove. In this case, it's going to be one. So this should be it. Why is it not working yet? So we have the three book case here, the one that we're actually implementing the transformation seems be, seems to be all right, but some of the new case is not yet implemented correctly. Um, yeah, that's because number of distinct books is not recomputed. 
afterwards. So if I compute it here, it should be recomputed in the second run around, uh, which means that it should be one in the second uh, run and then it should go in here. So re-execute the test. Yes, actually it was a mistake and the implementation is correct. What do I have to do now? Um, clean up. I created uh, somewhat of a mess here, so I want to refactor this uh, longish method here. First, I want to pull out this reduction thing. I want to say um, remove one issue of each book. That's the thing, that's the logic I want I have implemented here. Um, next thing I can, I'm, I'm using the number of remaining books now only in the loop header, right? So I can actually inline that one. Can I use the inline refactoring? No, I can't. Okay, so I have to do it manually. Delete that line and probably now I can inline, yes. And this should change nothing, right? Recompile, re-execute the test, looking good. So I have the total here, remaining books up there. I'm going to change this actually because total is what's computed overall. So I like to have the declaration in the first line and the return in the last line. I go as long as I have any remaining books. I calculate the distinct books, I say a number of distinct books is two, then I apply the rule, else I apply the single rule, then I remove an issue of each book and repeat or terminate. That seems to work and for now I'm content with the solution.